Hey there, folks. My name is Steve Rennie, and I am the Ren Man. Welcome to RenManMusicAndBusiness.com. For you folks that aren't familiar with what we're doing, a couple of years back, I started a little website called RenManMusicAndBusiness.com. It's a great place for people that are looking to find out information about the music business to get their answers. One of my favorite parts of the site is this little area over here called Ask Renman, and that's where we're going to go right now. If you've got a question about the music business that's keeping you up at night, but you don't know where to turn, you're looking at them. Ask Renman. You go right here, post your question, and I will answer it. you got to be a member, so if you don't want to give us your email, you'll have to go find some internet genius to sort you out. Um, okay, we got a question here that we're going to talk about right now. And uh, let me show it to you. Um, we have a question from El Papa who says, I love your show. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm currently in the process of starting up an online EDM music business. It's a two-man team, me being the music composer and my business partner, the producer. We've been going back and forth on percentages. He was suggesting to split it 50-50 so there would be no issues. My issue is how to retain my music intellectual property being that I wrote the bulk of the music and how much percentage split between us without being insulting thanks insulting thanks El Papa well El Papa uh, a couple things come to mind here <clears throat> if you go back over to our our web page I'm going to show you something there um, there's oops wrong wrong button uh, if you go here to the to the home page you'll see there's a section down here called big picture right and if you click on that big picture it'll take you over to this area right here these were some thoughts that i had it, it recorded videos things that that were bedrock principles big picture thoughts that have guided me throughout my career and there's a couple that work here that we're going to talk about here the first one is this lesson chapter four get the money oh there it is get the money uh it's one of the most important ones one of the one of the uh, big picture things that most people don't want to talk about and the other one is right below it's called picking your partner so so let's talk about it right now <clears throat> um the good news is, is you're thinking about this whole idea of the money up front uh, before you've written some music. That's the best time to figure it out, folks. It's great to sit there and go one for all and all for one when you're first starting. But when the money gets on that table, everybody's memory will fade. So better to have that conversation up front. So kudos for you on that front. Now, let's talk about this proverbial pie that uh, we're splitting up here. Um, let me give you a little music business math here. 100% of nothing equals nothing. 50% of nothing equals nothing, not a bupkis, okay? The most important thing is that there be a percentage of something, the pie, right? So let's talk about who's adding what to that pie. Already I can tell you think you're adding more to that pie than your partner. He's suggesting 50-50. 50-50 for most partnerships is not a bad place to start uh, the conversation. If it turns out that you are doing 75% of the work um, and that's the reality of it and getting less than that is going to make you feel uncomfortable, then that has to be the number and you can't worry about whether it's going to be insulting or not. You have to figure out what works for you. Um, I will say this, what you agree on today doesn't have to be forever. Um, you could choose to negotiate the percentages for a particular song, both the income and the, the property rights to that intellectual property on a song by song basis. You write a song, this one felt 50-50, that one felt 60-40. A little complicated, but certainly doable. Some of the greatest musical partnerships, certainly in the rock world where I come from, were equal partnerships. You two split all the publishing equally. Um, one of my former clients split, split the music publishing equally. Um, the Rolling Stones, biggest, one of the biggest bands of all time, it was Keith Richards and Mick Jagger were the writers. It was Townsend who wrote all those Who songs. So there's all kinds of ways to do it. But whatever you agree to, it doesn't have to be forever. And you should think about it that way up front. Um, I want you to check out one more uh, video here before I let you go. As I told you a while back, we did a, a, a web series called The Insider's Guide to Today's Music Business. It was my attempt to give everybody thoughts about everything they needed to know at the top level of the business. 
And one of the most important lessons in there was this whole idea about organizing your business here. Let me show you. Um, organizing your business right here. Um, when you're thinking about your business, it's important to get it right. So I want you to watch that video. It was with a great attorney here in town by the name of Gary Gilbert. He'll give you some thoughts about organizing partnerships, songwriting, and so forth. That'll give you something to think about. Most important thing here, don't worry about the percentage just yet. Worry about whether you think you can create a pie with this partner or a better pie on your own. And once you figure that out, the rest is going to get a lot easier. I hope that helps you out. My name is Steve Ram, the Ren Man. This is Ask Ren Man. Come back again if you've got a question on the music business. See ya.